Um, it's April 30th, um, 2017, and I'm at the Taj Mahal for the first time. Um, I'm going to give some advice about stuff that's fantastic here and stuff that I regret not doing. Um, first of all, I got up really early, like my um, guest house is just around the corner. It's about a five minute walk from the Taj Mahal entrance so that I could actually be here for six o'clock. Um, at the west gate, you want to you wanna enter in the west gate um, because it has a six, six o'clock um, entry, which is when you can actually try and get photos without a lot of people actually in it. Um, when I initially um, approached the Taj Mahal, there was a fella trying to be my tour guide and to be honest I was just so fed up of people talking to me that I was just like no, 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 no. But now that I'm in here I actually wish that I did have a tour guide to explain to me more about the details about, for example, the architects um, and, and, and things like that, stuff that I didn't actually research in advance. Um, because oftentimes when you're traveling and you're on the go, you don't always uh, take the time to actually read about what you're going to see. So um, anyway, having fended off the um, having fended off the uh, fella that wanted to be my tour guide, I purchased a ticket, which is this right here. Um, it costs about um, one thousand rupees for foreigners to get in, which is roughly about twenty dollars ish. Or twenty thousand one. Um, so when you walk in, um, basically what you do is you walk down and then you take a left and then you go through a gate that brings you right to the to the main um, Taj Mahal, which is what you see here in in the background right here. Um, people tend to stop right in front to actually get their photo. And um, one of the nice things about actually having a tour guide is that the tour guide will actually take your photos for you, especially if you're traveling alone, which is what I'm doing. So inadvertently, I've you know, asked lots and lots of other tourists here whether they can actually grab, take my photo for me. Um, and um, I've also had lots and lots of people, like especially local people here, that have asked me for um, selfies. I've had kids that have wanted to take photos with me. Um, uh, young Indian children and they're like photo take a photo take a photo which is really cute um, there's actually a section just behind me which is so when you're facing the Taj Mahal um, there's, there's a gate that's behind me which is the way that you're going to enter so right right back here so through that gate what you want to do is if you're a foreigner you actually want to walk down this side okay so when you walk down go take your left and walk down the left because the left actually has a really really nice um, walkway of trees and as you can see here um, it's full of um, lots and lots of foliage and the gardens are really really well maintained um, uh, what I noticed as I was here is first of all there's actually monkeys that are in the trees and I, I saw a bunch of monkeys um, just jumping to get into a tree just on the ground right here about two minutes ago which is extremely cute and when I was walking through this area right here I could actually see um, what looked to be some kind of parrot um, parrots flying around in the trees and it was absolutely gorgeous one of the minarets here is actually under construction and then also or, or I should say you know under renovation and there's also one side of the Taj Mahal right here, the left hand side um, from our perspective um, is getting renovated too. There's um, lots of ladies wearing saris but for the most part a lot of people are dressed quite um, casually, particularly foreigners. Um, but there's, there's still plenty of opportunities to take photos with nice, you know, with nicely dressed traditional ladies too. Um, I'm going to take you through a little walk through the garden area to see if we can actually capture any of the actual birds. But there are so many monkeys here, it's gorgeous. Also, when you, when you walk down, pretty bird just flew by me, when you walk down um, the left hand side, which um, is sheltered by all of the trees, what you want to do is um, it's funny because it actually is called um, Route for High Value Ticket Holders and what that means is 
is that it's the route for the for the foreigners largely who have actually paid 1000 rupees to get in whereas the locals i think the locals here paid about 500 rupees if you're of indian um, heritage there's also a museum that i want to visit that's just behind me so that maybe i can pick up some postcards or something like that but when you when you walk up, the nice that what I was trying to say earlier was the nice thing about walking down this side of the gardens is that uh, essentially you've got benches here and so forth, so that it's easier for foreigners to sit down and, and change their shoes into the little. You have to put like little slipovers that go over your shoes uh, for when you actually walk into the main Taj Mahal area because of the marble flooring. Um, this is the area with all the parrots. I don't know if this will capture, but we can hear them all around us. They're like little parakeets. Parakeets or parrots, I'm not sure which. Um, but they're, they're green and they're actually very hard to photograph because they camouflage too well with the leaves. Um, Right now, I can't think of anything else to recommend other than making sure that you bring your, you know, your digital SLR and come as early as you can. Try to be here at 6. I ended up actually getting in at around 6.30, which was actually, it was already quite, there were already quite a few people here. Also, remember that when you're timing your trip, that on Friday, they're closed on Fridays. So any other day of the week, they're open. And Westgate is definitely the first gate that opens. Um, and also if you come so early in the morning I didn't actually have to line up which was fantastic um, because I passed by yesterday and there was actually quite a long line up and it was absolutely boiling hot um, as you can see here on this sign here's the Taj, Taj Museum so right here um, when, you, when you actually pay for your ticket you'll actually get a, um, so you get your little slippers that are provided and you also get um, a bottle of water, one of, a small bottle of water. But at this time in the morning, a small bottle of water might be sufficient. I actually have the typical, you know, one litre that everybody tends to use here. Um, but anyway, I, I guess I, I, I'm trying to drink a lot of water. And also remember your sunblock, remember your suitable clothing it, to be honest i have seen people here in shorts like fellas in shorts and a t-shirt for me it's a little bit too casual for such a you know beautiful place like for some people a once in a lifetime experience um so i'd i would recommend dressing up a little bit you know if you want to have nice mo photo memories and so forth that you can show off um it's a gorgeous day here and I'm so glad that I started out early. I'm not sure, um, I'm not sure yet uh, what I'm going to do for the afternoon, whether I'm going to go to the Iskon temple to see the Hare Krishna um, the te temple that's a little bit further north of where I am right now, um, or whether I'm going to go to the Agra fort. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to head into the museum now and uh, thank you for watching.